Hey guys, welcome to another Bazaar Golf. Today we are back out at Budden. Um, we played the scramble last time and managed to get that amazing six under back nine. And we're back with Paul. And today we've got an interesting challenge. He's going to give me a 10 shot start over 18 holes. So he's a really good player. Um, should be an interesting match. And you never know, this might get really, really close at the end. Stay tuned. So let's get straight on with the action then. Both Paul and I got off to a pretty good start here and it was great because we had a group watching us as well. This shot was actually blind. I could only just see the top of the flag, flag, but as you can see when we get to the green, it turned out pretty good. And Paul, as normal, well, this is good for him. He just pitches it onto the green and ends up 12 foot from the flag. Beautiful day for a game of golf. A little bit blowy, but it always is in these parts. One thing we did notice today, the conditions of the green weren't great. Uh, unusual for this course, but we, neither of us could really read putts today and neither of us made anything from outside of six feet. Yep, that's a decent start with a par for me. And Paul managed to push this one by the hole quite a bit. Whoops, and that's a bogey start for Paul. So we are now minus 11. On to hole number two then. Straight into the fan here. Um, Paul hits a decent shot. Just off the left of the green there. As for me, um, hit it too high, got stuck up in the wind and wee. All I was thinking here is, please make a good contact. Thank you. And that's okay from there. Paul just chips it on up. Leaves himself a nice easy par putt. And really the greens play a big part in today's game. Bogey for me. Par for Paul. And I'm back to uh, 10 under. Paul smashed this drive. It is a little bit to the right here. So it just misses the fairway. And I definitely didn't want to go right. <laughs> So there's no way I'm making the green from here. So just wanted to play it out. Actually went a bit better than I thought it was going to. Nearly went in the water here. Pull chunked one. First time I've ever seen him do that, actually. But he makes up for it here. Sticks it on the back of the green. So I need a, a little pitch here. Actually played quite a decent shot. Shot. Lovely. Paul then rolls it up again. Little lag putt. Leaves himself about four feet for his bogey. I've got about five feet here for par. And yep, just <laughs> couldn't get it. <laughs> yes, Whoa. And that's halved in bogeys. Oh, so I'm feeling pretty good at this point. Um, I thought Paul may have caught up with me a little bit. And then he pulls one off the tee. Great visual for me. 
And yeah, I had to pull it one more further. <laughs> Little tree to contend with, 56 degree in hand, about 65 yards. We did end up pin high though, I guess. I played this pretty well, but ended up well short of the flag. Whereas when Paul plays these kind of chips, he always seems to get it in good putting distance. That's a great shot. So about 20, 25 feet here. And it's a decent effort, but it was never getting there. I was really surprised Paul missed that one. And we end up halving this hole in bogeys again. There we go. Hole number five then, 323 yards. Paul plays a decent shot, right hand side of the fairway. And I managed to smack one straight down the middle. Yeah, happy with that. It's getting warm now, actually. We both took our tops off here. Paul with a, with a pitch in. He had about 100 yards to go, I think, here. And me, for some reason, this fear popped back in my head here. I didn't want to overhit it and ended up hitting it short. So again, another one of these 25, 30 foot putts. No touch here and just ended up sailing it past the hole. Stop. Yep, just goes to show we were both struggling here. Yet another hole halved in bogeys, and neither of us are making any ground here. So this was a really nice drive by Paul. It just skirted, uh, flirted with the edge of the fairway rather, and ended up running into the rough. Is it? Again, I seem to want to exaggerate what Paul's doing. I I I thought I was aligned properly. I wasn't. I was aiming well right, and then managed to put a slice on it. Paul here then just to get out of trouble. And played a pretty decent shot. Got it over the uh, trees here and onto the fairway. I saw it. As for me, I've already taken a drop and I've already hit one into the trees here. Um, so now I'm just trying to play it onto the fairway. And this is my fifth shot on this hole. But yes, I did manage to get it out and we are playing off mats again. So this is my sixth shot now. Very similar to the last round here, but I did actually make the green just on the left hand side there in front of the bunker. Pull them with another one of his pitches. Nails it. Here I am again, another one of these 20 feet putts. Again, just couldn't read it. Weight was decent though. Yay. Pull through his par. Got one eventually. <laughs> and me, well, let's just say. I'm not overly happy with an eight. So, Paul there has really gained some ground on me. So, really need to sort this swing out now. That's a three with this time, and I managed to play it left to right again with that fadey slice. And Paul smashes one. I actually went a bit too far. So, I now need a decent chip up here. Try and get up and down for par. 
and this time it just didn't roll out. Pull then off the back of the green. And again, we're both struggling on these greens today. I got this then for par. Yeah, wishful thinking comes to mind. I just didn't hit that. Uh, tapped it in for bogey. Pull then, this is for his par. And he loses one by. I had to make him putt this one. And of course, he gets it for his bogey. So we're harping bogeys again. Hole number eight then, first par five of the day. And I've actually hit a decent shot. So it sorted the swing out, so I'm happy with that. And Paul crushes his one. In fact, we probably end up about 12 feet apart, I think, on this. So really good for filming. You see Paul's ball just out drove me, just to the left of me there. Again, I really need to work on my alignment. I was aiming nowhere near the flag here, aiming straight towards those trees. And guess where the ball went? Smashes his one down there for about 200 yards. So I'm in the rough, but I took advantage of my mat here. And I played a lovely pitch. It's about pin high. I got an almighty bounce to the left. It's just 90 degrees left off the green. And then along comes Paul. Yep. Hit another dart. Yay. He's a good player, you know. So I'm off the green here. Uh, hybrid. I like playing these like little dinky shots. Play it like a putt. A little bit firm this time, but not a bad result. Again, neither has got a putt outside of like four feet today. I think this is probably the only putt that was even close to the hole. Come on, man, that's a par at last. Come on! Here we go. And that only just made it. <laughs> there yes. we go. Nice tidy up. Hole number nine. So again, pretty decent drive. And same from Paul. Look at my feet. This time I managed to get away with it and actually ended up pulling it left, but the feet are definitely aiming right at target at the moment. Paul, next one is on to the back of the green. I think it just rolled off. Low angle here to watch this putt come up the hill, about 55 feet. A little bit pacey, but ooh, oh. I hit the flag. <laughs> But bogey. Oh. Yeah, that's all down to the greens. I'm, I'm not uh, blaming Paul for that at all. It's the greens were really not in the best shape. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. Apart from the uh, the miss hit into the trees, there I've actually kept pace with Paul for the most part. Then on to this hole, and I was playing for a little slice or a fade, 
and it just didn't happen. I went dead straight and into the bushes. And of course, Paul smashes one down the middle of the fairway. I hit a provisional ball. And of course, I smash it down the fairway as well. Position A. We should have done that with the first ball. Hit this one pretty well. Just a little left of target. And the real difference in our games is, is Paul's approach shots. He's, he's normally pretty decent at this one, a little bit wayward, but you know, he's normally there or thereabouts. So I'm trying to play a little hybrid chip again. Again, works out for me just a little bit strong. Pull from the back of the green and puts one into tapping range. What a beautiful putt that was! And he gets away from me again there. <laughs> really, no confidence with the putter at this point. <laughs> um, Yep, so he's got one back there. Number 11, pretty straightforward par four here. There is water on the right, and Paul did think he was in. Uh, we lost sight of the ball from the tee. Um, so I made sure I'm not going right here and smash one down the left-hand side of the fairway. Paul, well, his luck's with him. Didn't go into the water. He's on a... Pretty tough uphill lie, but chose to take a hybrid at this one. Draw, draw. Makes really good contact. Me, all I gotta do is keep this left. Look at my feet again. They are pointing towards the water. And guess where the ball goes? Straight towards them. I've really got to sort that out on the course. It is letting me down. My ball striking is pretty good. Alignment's all over the place. Closer to him than the green. Uh, Paul gives me a very generous ruling here, saying that that was ground under repair. So he says, uh, you know, oh, take a drop, play it from there. Okay, fair enough. That's uh, 50-50 if you fall in. <laughs> <laughs> His theory was it's 50-50 me falling into the water playing the shot. I ended up playing a decent chip here. Maybe to you, Paul. And he matches me. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> So another eight, nine footer. Really starting to play these like lag shots now. Just don't trust the greens at all. Disappointing. And Paul makes his. Yeah. Good. I'll manage it. A good one. Good How's that for camera shots? Good that was pretty decent. Direction was good. Mm -hmm. 
all about the same distance, just through the green and I'm short. That was actually a pretty decent lag shot considering. Paul nearly scared the whole two. There's a pair of gimmies there. Onto the par three. Oh, that looked a bit over the top, didn't it? Bit of a swipey one, that. Yeah, that's the first time I've uh, I really failed on that hybrid putt. Yeah. Paul lags one up, but not going to give him that one. We'll try and get this one close now. Well, it was never going in, but that's a tapping bogey for me. <laughs> that swing, honestly, you couldn't replicate it, but it's so effective. Such a good contact. I mean, that is a oh. foot, if not I six inches not away from being a really, really good shot. Of course, Paul's not gonna let up here, he's gonna stick it on the green. What would you do here? Oh my God. You can see I'm about eight or nine inches and that is a vertical lip it goes straight up about four feet and i'm considering playing it sideways there's no way i can go straight at the flag so i've got the 60 degree in hand i'm going to put all my weight on my front foot swing and hope and just want to get it out I mean, I'm absolutely ecstatic with that shot. It'd be nice if it rolled out a bit more, but I'm out. I mean, both of us are pretty reasonable putters of the ball. That was a pretty decent back putt, but not, literally nothing went in today. Another little par three. Familiar sight for me to be 30, 40 feet away from the flag today. Ooh, too fast. And even more familiar sight for going 10, 15 feet past. And he's not going to take his foot off. Six inches there. <laughs> That's his par. And I've got a monster now. No good. Can't read it. And uh, 
Oh yeah, just not a really, not a really good packing day for me today. Oh. And then <laughs> it went from bad to worse. Uh, hole I want to forget, really. That par three. So I'm not getting any luck. Paul's managed to smack this one into the fairway bunker here. And I've just pulled it further left. But as with anything, you need a bit of luck in this game, right? Paul manages to get ground under repair out of the bunker. Then smacks it into the face uh, of the bunker on his second shot. So, tease it up again. This is his third shot now, and this ball just keeps rolling, and rolling, and rolling, and rolling. Oh my god, it's in the green! How's that for a green in regulation? <laughs> Good shot! Me, I'm in the junk. I've misread this completely. I thought I was going to play about 130, 140 yards, just punch this out of this stuff and get back onto the fairway. So I'm, I'm aiming toward the green. Made a pretty good contact. Hit it where I thought I wanted to hit it. Yeah. Nope, in the rough. So now I'm playing three. And luckily for me, Sorry. I've managed to make a decent contact yeah. and also get it up on the green there. This is my birdie putt. And left it short. This is Paul's birdie putt. Pressure on this part now. Oh Come my on, god! It's exactly where I wanted to hit it, so I can't complain. That's, that's, that's where I thought it was. And that putt really stuck. That hurt. I hit it where I wanted to hit it, to be fair. But Seventeen then, last par three of the day. Right Pulls a bit short here, so I'm thinking this is a chance. If I can get this one in close, he might miss that. Come on. And that's a decent effort for me. Hips playing up a bit now, feeling it a bit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pearl! <laughs> oh, there you go, I got one back. So... Okay. One up with one to... Look, I told you this is going to the wire. He's one up with one to play. Got to get one back. Come on. <laughs> you can do that, sir. Last one. <laughs> Your body's right there. As you can see, I get lots of sympathy from the wife. <laughs> 18 holes. Uh, I'm not built for this game, really. Uh, sore hips, sore feet. But I made it around. Wholly enjoyable game, though. Wholly enjoyable game. And all to play for on the last hole. So Paul with his familiar straight down the middle smash. 
All I'm thinking when I step up to the tee here is just get it on the fairway. And of course, I pull it left. <laughs> I just made this hole 100 yards longer than it needs to be. What a shame. Actually a decent lie here. I can get the hybrid on it. Yay. 60, 70 yards short we end up here, Yay. but you know, the line was pretty decent. Paul's got about 90, 92 yards, I think. And he's determined to give me a chance and he ends up pushing it right. Just missed the bunker and ended up in the in the rough on the right. Me then, all I gotta do is chip this onto the green. I might have a chance to at least get away with a, with a draw. And this just took the most awful bounce. Oh, what a bounce. But Paul being Paul, he's gotta have the last word on today's round. What a beautiful chip. What a beautiful chip. Leaves me no chance and that's his for the win. I'm just playing for my honour now. Not bad, just didn't roll out. Decent game at Carnoustie though. We will be back for more. Put me out of my misery then. Yep, just wasn't to be today. <laughs> oh, these greens. Uh, thank you, Paul. That was a smashing game. Um, what a finish. What a, what a round. It was, it was a really good round. I really enjoyed it. A um, few things I need to uh, work on there, so my alignment for sure. And I think I was just a little bit unlucky, really. There's a, a few bad holes there for me, or a couple of bad holes at least. But the rest of it, I think I did myself proud there. So there we go. Walking off into the sunset. Wholly enjoyable round. Really hope to see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks once again to Paul. And we'll see you next time on Big Golf Tours.